Battle Sky VR is a multiplayer game that allows you to fulfill your childhood dreams, which is to fly in the sky. I started the company about two years ago and my other co-founder is my brother David. I'm a software developer by training and my brother's an architect. So he was very interested in the VR technologies and he thought it would be very interesting to build a game. Battlesky VR is a multiplayer at its core, but it also has a single player component to it. You can engage in battles of up to eight people. There's a airship that you have to accompany, so you're basically escorting the airship to a location. The other team is trying to intercept that. The first level is basically a sky island. There's caves in the map where there's actually spiders. There's also a huge dragon boss character that you have to kill. The second level is a Iceland. Imagine you're in the North Pole. There's a lot of narrow channels you have to fly through. The other game modes includes Team Deathmatch, which highest kill counts will win the game. We also have a race mode, so you're flying through these rings in the sky. What makes this game unique is that you fly around by flapping your arms and we found that by flapping your arms you actually don't get motion sickness which is a big problem and you can shoot fireball from your mouth by aiming with your head. Iron Man has a totally different mechanism of flying by having thrusters coming out of the palms and by adjusting your wrist you can fly around. It also has some very different ways of attacking either with lasers, with, with homing missiles, with charged plasma. This female character has a device and she could use it to point anywhere in space and she would fly towards that direction. She could actually create a black hole that's going to pull all the characters towards the black hole. She also has some special attacking abilities, kind of like lightning. My brother lives in San Jose and so with the time difference, it's pretty difficult to coordinate. So usually we would meet 1 or 2 o'clock afternoon here in Taipei, but we actually spend a lot of time in VR. It allows us to discuss things that I don't think it's possible to do through kind of conventional ways. It allows us to test things out in a very one-to-one -one ratio and in real time. Vive is ideal for a game because it requires the use of our body. It's not a very simple mechanism. Each hero is very different in its movement. Having the recognition of VDA was a big deal for us. I think it opened many doors. Partnership with different people and kind of being invited to different events. When the Taiwan AR VR Association had their opening ceremony, we created a different version of the game called the Flyover Taipei. There's all these different landmarks in the city that the mayor himself experienced flying over Taipei. I think people are really going to enjoy this game. It is available on Viveport right now. And if you'd like to experience Battle Sky VR in multiplayer with your friends, ask your nearest arcades. If they don't have it, don't worry. We'll be adding to more location over time.